Count Thicula here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Borderlands 2 Reborn updated. This is very slightly different from the original install version, so you'll head over to the same Nexus link. The link will be in the description as always. All this wonderful stuff here. And so what you do is you click Files, and you click Manual Download. But once you've downloaded it, go to your Downloads. And you'll see it there. That's not relevant. And so you'll see this. Now you'll go over to this link. This link. You can also find the link by doing the following by clicking this GitHub link. And then it will inform you that the GitHub is gone. And you click here. And then it takes you there. But I'll link it standalone anyway. So first off, you need to hex edit your game. So, you will use the hex multi-tool version 1.27. I highly suggest that you just click here. When you click there, it'll say, oh, we'll save it here for you. I've already saved it, so that's kind of unnecessary. Once you have the hex editor tool, make sure you read these instructions if you get stuck, because this is how you install it. So if this tutorial is insufficient or you have difficulty, make sure to read this carefully and it will definitely solve your issues for you. Since Step 2 is already downloading Reborn, Borderlands to Reborn, we've done that already, so this is unnecessary. First, we're going to hex edit the game. So, go to your file path here and go to blhexmultitool.net 4.5.zip. Here's also Borderlands to Reborn. So, use your file extractor tool, in this case 7-zip, and then do extract files and then okay you can tell it to extract wherever you want but I'm just doing it here so this is the multi-tool and then this is the reborn file or the reborn mod I should say so before you do anything I suggest you do this first grab your borderlands to reborn dot text make sure it says text document BL to reborn and do copy. And now you're going to navigate to where your game is installed. So this PC, DX86, program files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Borderlands 2. And now this is where you might get confused. So go to binaries, and then this is it. You're going to paste the file here. Now, I suggest you, rename, you name it Reborn, because that's easy to type in later on, but you can name it anything you want. So, for example, you could type in, I don't know, Onion. So, Onion.txt is there, and you can run Onion.txt through the game's main menu if you want to. So, now that we have, in the, uh, the, huh? we have the text file installed, we're going to run the multi-tool, the hex multi-tool. So, go back to your BL Hex Edit Multi-Tool. So again, this PC downloads Borderlands Hex Multi-Tool, and you'll see Borderlands Hex Multi-Tool.exe. If you don't have file extensions shown, it'll be the application. So double-click that. Let me minimize this. And when you initially start it, it'll ask you for your file path. I have already configured the Borderlands 2 file path, so that section is already done. In this case, when it asks you, it'll say, please select your game's file path. You will do the following. You'll probably start here. So go to the drive where Borderlands 2 is installed, in this case my hard drive, Program Files x86, Steam. Steam Apps, Common, Borderlands 2, Binaries, and then you may get a little confused because these two folders look equally delicious. But you're going to go into the Win32 folder, and you will find this. Borderlands2.exe. It is an application and it is about 26 megabytes in size. 
you will use this tool and you will tell it that your Borderlands 2 is here. This is your Borderlands 2 that this tool would like to see. Once you've told it that, you'll get this. So first off, it'll ask you if you would like to apply any patches. Hit yes. By default, it'll list a couple patches. It'll say, do you want to have the console patch? Hit yes. If it lists any patch before you get to this screen, tell it yes. You want to receive whatever patch this tool will offer you. So now, go here to console and set command. Make sure that this is checked. This means that your console will work in game. I have it set to the tilde key because that's what I'm used to. You can set it to any key you want, but I prefer to use the tilde. Now, you're going to go over to MISC. And then you're going to go over to Disable Sanity Checks and make sure that these two are checked. So Disable Sanity Checks for Weapons and then Disable Sanity Checks for Items. Both of these need to be checked under Disable Sanity Checks MISC. Once those are checked, make sure your console command is set to whatever key you like and make sure that is checked also. And then you're done. You will have the button prompt for apply right here, and you will then click it, and it will patch your EXE. Once you're notified of this, or if it goes smoothly and you get no errors, you can click the X button right here. That means that your Borderlands 2 EXE now has the console enabled, and it is ready for Borderlands 2 Reborn to work. So, if we go back to the install page, the first part was to hex edit, the second part was to download the mod, which we have done already. I'm going to skip part 3, because I don't feel it's necessary to modify Reborn. And next, we're going to execute the patch. For the patch execution, you'll want to go onto Steam, and run Borderlands 2. You can either run it through Steam, through the Steam menu, or you can just click this. But Steam menu is easier because it gives you the launcher. I will switch over to the game menu real fast and I'll show you what it looks like. Quick side note, when you click play on Steam you should be greeted with this splash screen launcher. If you do not have this, you have done something wrong. Once your game is loaded up and you're on the main menu, hit your console key, in this case, tilde, and do EXEC, EXEC, space, and then whatever you named it. So in my case, onion.txt. And then you'll press the enter key. If it worked correctly, you'll get this message below saying running Borderlands 2 Reborn. Sometimes you'll encounter an issue where you do this and you start the game and the mod isn't running currently. The way to fix that is to go back to the main menu and run it again. And you keep doing this until it works correctly. And then press continue or make a new character and load up into the game. Once you're in the game, Take note that the lighting is slightly different. If you're playing as a Siren or a Mechromancer, your skill trees are very different as well. And note that money or currency is also different. Kill a couple bully mongs. And then keep an eye out for currency that they drop. As you can see here, money is now green. In the original game, money is white, now it is green. Once you have that, you know that your mod is installed correctly. I suggest that you make a new character when playing Borderlands 2 Reborn, as it changes quite a bit. So, if you have any issues, please let me know. I felt it was necessary to make an updated tutorial, because the mod author changed the way you hex the game. 
and I've been getting lots of comments where people are having issues, so hopefully this helps you all out, and have a good one. If you want to hop on the Discord, the link will be in the description as always. Thank you for watching. Sample text.